Welcome back to my little channel. Now, not too long ago, we had a stream talking about the idiocies of the coronavirus, or rather, that came with the coronavirus. The idiocies are not of the virus. They are of our politicians. Okay, um, if I already made a stream about this, why am I doing these videos? Well, because it's a two-hour stream and I can completely understand people not watching that, or... Yeah. But we did address some points, and I thought, you know what? These value small videos all in themselves. So here it goes. Now, in, um, how do you call it, Europe, in Belgium in this case, there was this issue when it came to the coronavirus. They wanted to order masks, surgical masks. And I know surgical masks aren't really helpful to prevent disease. I mean, if you wear it, um, there is a chance you still get sick. But people say it's not to prevent you getting the disease, it's to prevent others from getting the disease from you. Because at that, they're a lot better. Makes sense, makes sense. But the worst part is, Belgium didn't order those masks for the Belgians. They ordered them for the migrants, legal or illegal migrants. But why is it that you would buy them for migrants, but not for your own people? Now that is weird. Are your own people not affected by the coronavirus? I think they are. And in all fairness, just like the rest of the Western world, Belgium seems to be pretty much on lockdown as well. But that's not where the story ends. So, okay, they want to order surgical masks but not for their own people, even though their own people are being told, well, wash your hands, that'll be enough. If you wash your hands, not a big deal. And then they order these, and then the worst part is that uh, Belgian orders them, and um, <laughs> they get defrauded. I mean, let's be honest, to deal with the emergency, I'm just reading it out now, last week, the Belgian government placed an order for 5 million surgical masks. Now, let's say they cost 1 euro a piece, so that's 5 million euro. And they won't be that cheap, they're a lot more expensive at the moment, but never mind. And they did so at a company in Turkey. But when they weren't delivered by Sunday, they smelled a rat. And, um, yeah, it didn't come either. In yet another government failure, the mask never arrived. And the bloc admitted today that they had been defrauded by their Turkish supplier. And that the chances were minimal that they would receive any, according to another piece in Skepter. Uh, links will probably be down now, downstairs. And that's not even the worst of the story. The worst of the story is that, given the situation, Belgium has a crisis on its hand. Now, and as it currently only has about half a million masks in stock, um, the government has asked its private citizens if they have extra masks, and if they do have extra masks, to please donate them to the hospital. But funny enough, the extra masks that were being bought weren't being bought for the hospital. So, did they already give the masks to the migrants? And in all fairness, if at one point you basically tell your civilians, yeah, you don't need to worry about it, uh, you don't need the masks, never you mind on the masks, and now you turn to your civilians to say, oh, well, um, for those of you that were prudent enough out there, uh, could you please give your prudency to us? Because we are utter idiots. And somehow <laughs> these people are still in power. It must be me. I know it must be me. I'm really mean like that. And I should be nicer. But um, something tells me that these politicians uh, deserve a good kick up the butt. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. I am trying to grow my channel. So like, share and subscribe. And share it to anyone you think might find this interesting or funny. And uh, I hope to see you all next time.